Okay, third preparation, third sauce, third pan sauce, uh, third uh, integral sauce. Here we are. Um, we're gonna make Steak Diane, a very, very old school, traditional, and what used to be table side preparation. We can talk about that as we move along with, the, uh, with this dish. Uh, but let's talk about the ingredients for Steak Diane for a second. Okay, so we have the steak. Uh, typically, you're wanting to see a slightly more tender piece of steak. So this is filet mignon uh, or beef tenderloin. Uh, we've got probably a total of maybe maybe four and a half ounces, five ounces tops. We have some minced shallots. They can be saw, uh, sliced as well, but they're minced shallots. Sliced mushrooms, any variety is fine. Some cream. Okay. Um, we want to use cream. We don't want to use half and half in here. We use cream. We have some Worcestershire. Or, in a pinch, you could certainly use soy sauce. We have some Dijon mustard. We're going to have some brandy, which we'll talk about in a second. Or, in this case, uh, cognac, Corvassier. Instead of, or in, in addition to the, uh, uh, the Worcestershire, you can always add some A1 sauce, if that's what something that you had. And we also have the chives. So let's go ahead and season our steak. Again, salt and pepper. Clearly the two most invaluable seasonings that we have, salt and pepper. We'll come over to the saute pan. Again, very, very hot. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to actually take out the meat after we've seared it, move it off to the side, and finish our sauce uh, in the saute pan. So again, very, very hot. Quick preparation, as I mentioned earlier in this, uh, uh, this video, it was um, a very, very highly regarded table side preparation. So this would be done by the maitre d' or one of the waiters or servers that was uh, uh, definitely proficient at doing something like this at, at your table. So, again, salt and pepper, we'll do uh, season side down, again, away from us. Okay. Get that going. A little more salt and pepper on the other side. Good. This is going to go very, very quickly, very, very quickly. I think the sound of the pan is very, 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 very loud. I'll try to talk over that pan. Um, all right, so looking pretty good here. That's been probably a total of, what, 20 seconds or so. I think we're going to flip this over. Got a little color, which is nice. Excellent. You get some color on the other side. Again, another just five, eight, maybe 10 seconds. We'll take that out, set it off to the side over here, and then we'll introduce simultaneously the mushrooms and the shallots. And they're gonna pick up, because the moisture in the shallots and the uh, mushrooms are definitely gonna pick up some of the fawn on the bottom. You see this right here? That's definitely the fond. We want to get that up. That's part of our flavor ingredients. We're not interested in, in burning the shallots. So we'll drop that down just a little bit, that heat. Maybe it's more in a, uh, a medium type heat. Okay. The next step is adding the, in this case, the uh, the cognac or the brandy. Be careful, we're gonna add this off the heat. Doesn't take much, we're only producing one, one portion. It's gonna go back on the heat and, and create a flame probably. What we're doing is basically burning off the alcohol. That's fine. We're gonna add some veal stock to that. 
again, we're looking at maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe four ounces of veal stock. We're going to also add our cream. Our Worcestershire shire, 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 shire sauce. I'm going to turn the heat up. We're going to want to reduce that down just a little bit. That's looking really, really good. Let's not forget about our mustard. Just a pinch, doesn't require too much. There we go. Smells great, that looks good. I mean, everybody loves sauce, okay? But the sauce is there to also kind of, you know, accompany and kind of complement the dish. So we'll put the steaks back in there. At the, by the time we took those steaks out of the pan originally, they were probably still on the rare side. Any kind of pan juices that accumulate, they can go back in as well. Everything here is about layering of flavor. That's looking good. Now chicken, we want to make sure that that's cooked all the way through. Pork, we're pretty concerned about making sure that cooks all the way through. Steak, beef, of course, we can certainly cook that to a different degree of doneness. Like maybe if we're looking for a medium rare type thing, you can see my, myself poking at these steaks. That's probably closer to a, um, a medium rare right now. So I think what we're going to do is turn off the heat. Those are ready to go. Take our plate. There we go. Reduce that down just a little bit more. Also, not a bad idea at this point to taste the sauce. See where we are with regard to, certainly with regard to salt and pepper. Mm, that's great. Got a little sharpness from the um, from the Worcestershire, but we're good to go. I think in this case, because there seems to be quite a bit of sauce, I'll take a spoon and spoon that over the steaks, just so it doesn't get too messy or too sloppy. That's plenty. And again, we'll finish with a little bit of, in this case, chopped chive. There's our steak Diane. Again, a classic, very, very classic, probably born in the mid to late 1800s tableside dish. Quick little anecdote about maybe one of the only times I've ever had a tableside dish prepared for me we opened up these hotels in, uh, in Palm Springs, and the four of us, part of the opening team, we went to a, a, a very, very traditional Italian restaurant in Palm Springs, and we decided to have the uh, pasta, the fettuccine Alfredo, cooked tableside, right, for the four of us. So we ordered one order, and that's definitely what we got, was one order split four ways. There was next to nothing on the plate, we had a great time making fun of the waiter, making fun of the, uh, uh, the maitre d' who was actually putting this dish together. We just kind of looked at each other in disbelief that all we got was like literally like the smallest portion of pasta you could ever imagine in your life. And it was like $26. It was wild. And that's, we're talking about 30 years ago when this was happening. But nevertheless, kind of a fun dish to have your, uh, uh, have your, your server or again, a maitre d', a manager, do this table side. It makes for conversation. And certainly the dishes that we talked about tonight, the three dishes, the chicken piccata, the pork scallopini, and the steak Diane, all very, very classic old school preparations with pan sauce. Quick, 
painless, but incredibly delicious. And in the case of the scallopini, the pork scallopini and the, um, the steak Diane, you know, there's a lot of different components in there, but one thing holds true and that's the, that's the well-flavored or well-made deal stock in those two cases. And again, we will discuss that at a later date, but my intention is to get you guys the ingredients to make these three dishes, hopefully this week. So again, thanks for tuning in. I'll keep you updated in Canvas and we'll move on from there. Thanks a lot.